of the people that have actually gotten uh, our towels, they'll testify with us that the quality of our towels, if you get a porcelain, polished porcelain towel, it's rare that you have broken towels. Why? It's the temperature at which we hit the mat. You know, and the best way to know that you've got a good towel is when you get the same piece of towel, let's say it's a 60 by 60, turn it upside down. At the back, then try to pour water there. If you see that water is not seeping in, it's not being absorbed inside, that will tell you how good that towel is. When you buy that beautiful towel that you get from somewhere, you turn it upside down and then you pour water on top of it, water will easily go inside. Just note that it's not a costly towel. It's a ceramic towel. Ceramic towel water absorption is very high. As for a porcelain towel, water absorption is almost 0.01%. And that's what we're producing here in Zambia. So all in all, all we are saying is that all towels that are produced by Marco Polo towels, they are all porcelain towels. Them being matte on top, like rough, they are all porcelain towels. We don't produce ceramic towels. Actually in Zambia, Marco Polo towels does not produce ceramic towels. All towels are porcelain towels. Every minute towels are coming out, you know, every day, one year is just producing huh? so you can imagine powers and powers of boxes waiting for people to buy then you hear of news those that are selling our towels they're saying don't buy this it's cheaper because it's a local product buy this which is imported okay and people still believe buying the imported was better but those that started buying our towels because at a fair price when they were visited by those that bought the imported towels they notice the difference in their properties. If I installed a local towel made and I'm visited by that one who has bought and imported, the one who bought an imported towel comes to my house and is surprised to see how good my house looks. Currently, we're producing about 15,000 square meters in a day. That's about 11,000 boxes of 60 by 60 on a daily basis. But people that are engineers, you know, coming across to work on a machine like the one, the ones that we have would be like a nightmare. So they needed like, you know, some kind of somebody to take them through how to operate the machines. So initially when we started, we had a lot of people, you know, from outside that came to assist in setting up the machine and, you know, training people how to, the know-how of the machine, how to use the machine. So that knowledge was actually transferred from those expatriates to the local people, the local Zambian people. And from then, those people, they're still working with the same machines. When we bring in more machines, at least they're able to pick it up and continue. The issue is, now that the Zambian people are able to run these machine, uh, machines, these are people that are employed from within this community and from outside Lusaka. Lusaka and you know the copper belt, you know. So we're getting people from everywhere. We've got about seven to eight hundred people employed here. So those are the numbers that we have. And the community here, they're also benefiting from us, you know, when you talk of uh, the, the social corporate responsibility. We've done a police post for them, that's the community around here. We've also, you know, got them a transformer and I've actually distributed electricity in the compound, you know. And in line with that, we are trying to do uh, a mean hospital within the community here. Not just a small hospital, but a mean, which is not only going to save the community here, but people around here. And people from elsewhere will come and, you know, benefit from what Marco Polo is doing. So it's not just about the business getting the money, but also about improving the livelihood of people that live here.